Yo! Far Harbor DLC Fallout 4. Let's so fucking wins. go. So yeah, that's the shortest intro I've ever done. But yeah, let's just get straight into this. My name is The Marsh from Mars. Hello. Welcome to some Far Harbor. I have been looking forward to this. And it is the first sort of proper DLC for Fallout 4. So, uh, far, far from... Sorry, far from home. Listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio. Da -da -da -da. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Ooh. That's pretty mad. Uh, I'm traveling with Piper, hey, so let's... What you got for me? Man, I don't care. I want to go with uh, Nick. Where's Nick at? We put on some wonderful I don't give a fuck, woman. Let's head out. Right. Mr. Nick. So I've never really probably traveled with Nick before on this save. So it should be interesting. But let's go check out this thing. Good people do crazy things when they're scared. Good people do crazy things. Next detective agency. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Shut the fuck up, kid. There's some cash, you bitch, you. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just, I want to get started, man. You're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Let's do it. Who's the client? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll mm. remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Kenji. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. What was it, bitch? Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Bloody hell, mate. Let's do this. Alright, we're at one of the coolest locations in the game, the Asylum. And the fishing house isn't too far, so it's, it's pretty much just up here. A little bit. A little bit further. A little bit further. Um, I've only got two weapons as well, because... I don't really play this game when I'm not recording. And I have two separate sort of games. I have the vanilla and the modded. And obviously Bethesda, they've sort of, they've added this new system where your modded games, you can't earn achievements on them now. So I've, I've kept them very separate. I've only really been playing with mods. So I haven't played this save since I finished the Automatron DLC. And I pretty much chucked away like all my weapons to use the new ones. And all the new ones were kind of shit apart from this. So that's why I only have, like, two weapons. So it should be pretty interesting. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, that's a Milo. Ay, 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 my audio is so loud. Holy shit. Alright. Oi, get away from Nick, you prick. Nick's cool. <laughs> uh, short combo rifle, sure. So I'm pretty much, in a way, I'm kind of starting again. <laughs> um, I don't know whether that's going to be good or bad, considering this, you know, is a DLC, and DLCs are usually a lot harder, so... Um, 
I'm a little bit worried about that, not gonna lie. You are dead, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. I got this robot armor as well from the Automatron DLC. It looks really cool, I like it. I also made a video on the Wasteland Workshop DLC, so if you want to check that out as well, then please do. Um, I won't leave a link on screen, because that's just too much work. <laughs> but um, you can check it out on my channel. Um, I called it like Pimping Out the Castle or something like that, so... If you haven't seen that and you're interested, then feel free to check it out. Oh! Oh no! It's a weirdo. Here is the house. Oh, that looks so cool. It looks really nice. It looks really nice, actually. I'm actually a bit jealous. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. We've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. I, uh, Yo, Kenji. Kenji! Nick, Ken thank God. Oh. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. Whoa. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. Oh, no. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. God, she's some sort of robot. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. He's mad. Where's Nick going? Nick bled. All right, let's do some questioning. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but... You said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Oh. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. 
Something tells me that's important. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree <laughs> about why Nick. your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Whoa. Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Oh. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Ooh. Nothing else right now. Check out the boathouse. <gasps> kitty! Hey, kitty cat. How you doing? Oh, it's mad that there's cats in this game. <gasps> there's another one! Oh! Hello? Right, enough talking to cats. Let's go. I didn't know there was cats in this game until, like... The start of this year. <laughs> so I played it for like a full two months without even realizing. Alright. Check out the cabin. Picture frame. It's lovely cared for picture of a lighthouse seems almost out of place here. Touch the frame. Ooh! Hidden, hidden key. key huh? Good work. Just gotta find whatever it unlocks. Uh, we'll find it soon enough. I'm sure. And the source in plain detective. Oh! Okay. Obviously it's for that. Dear Katsumi! If you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Grandad. <laughs> That's a pretty clever clue. Ooh. All the tape. I probably should have just pressed play, shouldn't I? Oh well. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I I have to know the truth about myself. 
Dave told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. Ooh. I can make my way to them from there. Mate, is she a synth? Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Is she human? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. But that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. Uh. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Whoa. Holy shit. All right, Nick, let's go. Nick, I'm gonna sit down. See you, kitty cats. Yo, Nick, you coming? Oh, man. Boat controls. Yeah, Nick's screwing around, so I'm gonna press activate. Shoulder for harbor. Oh my god, let's go. No way. Holy shit. Oh man. We're actually on a boat. <laughs> Shit was Nick. Whoa. Oh, mate, this is sick. Holy. Hey, Nick. This is fucking insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> 